Hi everyone. Welcome back to Katap's Farm YouTube channel. This morning, I want to share with you the five business ideas inspired by Dr. Emma Nalima, the farmer, a motivational speaker, a doctor, and someone admirable by every farmer. Number one, growing black soldier flies. These black soldier flies are the maggots. The maggots that we feed to our birds, especially broiler birds. These maggots are very high in protein content that when you feed them to your pigs, your broiler birds, you rest assured that in just a few days, four weeks, a broiler is at 1.5 kilograms. In six months, the pig is at 100 kilograms. This lady started it and when I watched her videos, I followed her up, visited her farm, I too had to start black soldier fly to save on the cost of feeding so my birds well, and pigs. Them. I came with my pigs. We make about 60,000 US dollars a year from this. Number two is pig farming. Inspired by her, I started a pig project. Then it is a small project, but it is growing at a good pace. You too can. Why not? If I could, start with what you have. So how are you? Having huh? been inspired by Dr. Emma Nalima, I decided to use pig dung to make biogas. Biogas is clean energy, saves the environment, saves the money, and your pigs are the source of your income. I'm saying there's no mess. What do people in the desert do? That's how I came up with that. Africa is blessed with a lot of cereals. Wheat, sorghum, millet, any cereal can be sprouted. That is how she inspired me to start feeding my hens, my birds, on greens. Truly, if you have greens around your home, around your farm, you can never say farming is hard for you. Aha! You're so happy? Eh? You're so happy? You're so happy? You're so happy? You look around. Eh? They love, they love this. We have grown as brothers and sisters here. Ah. You hear the sound changes, they know what has come. Special diety. Well, the science behind it is very, very simple germination, air, water, and warmth. So, we seed on day one, you will seed. So, because it, it takes six days for all these things to grow. So, you seed. So, this is day one, day two, day three. So, you keep pushing. And at day six, you feed. Then you come back and you seed. The beauty about hydroponics, it's cheap. And a kilo of barley, you're going to get six kilos of fodder. I said to myself, for nine months, I'm not going to buy Mbanduka and I'm going to grow it. And it was productive. Number four, growing of Matoke. Many years ago, we came to this village and in 2010 when we came, there was a lot of theft, a lot of theft. So it's a fishing village and whenever government said, don't fish, people were idle. And because they were idle, they started stealing. The only food that was in this village was cassava, sweet potatoes and posho. So when we started farming and grew matoke, I remember the first time people laughed at us. They're like, matoke doesn't come back to this place. And now all the neighbors on the village grow matoke, all the neighbors, even those who used to do fishing. Someone gives me chickens. Then before I know it, I have 10 chicks. Then I have 100. Number five, poultry keeping. Inspired by Dr. Emma Narima, I started poultry keeping and I began with only 15 broiler birds. I later went into layers, but the business is a good one. These chicks are my favorite to see every morning. I love them so much. Like when we say like I do this, I tell you that uh, uh, this one, if I have my chick here, 
it is my passion that I love my work, they also love me. That's what we call tender love and care in your cheeks. We stay here actually on the farm. If anything happens even at night or early in the morning, we are here and ready to attend to the animals. Now, it's very, very important. Hygiene is a very important aspect. Farming. As you wait for one enterprise to produce food, there's another that is giving you something. I think it's the way. So in 2013, there was a long drought, very bad. And then the cost of maize bran was really costly. And I just imported my pigs. The pigs are my cash cow. I could not see my pigs dying of hunger. So in the belief, the world needs people like Dr. Emma Nawima to inspire other people. She has inspired me, and we need such people to transform the world. You can see how the whole of Western Uganda in this season has been hit by landslides. And this is because people have not been, been given enough knowledge. They have no power to transform their own region. Yes, we need such people to transform our areas. My name is Emma Narima. I'm a vet by profession. I'm a farmer. I'm a mother and a wife and I'm an educator. I sat down for a year when I gave birth to premature twins and I needed to look after them. And as I was trying to put food on my table, I became successful. I kind of became an icon in farming and people came to me for advice. <laughs> so I found out that there's a need that I needed to work on. That's why we put a school. After two years, I left my workplace and I asked my dad for a piece of land. I think I was 26 years old and then every person thought I was mad. My mom literally prayed for me. So in a quarter an acre, I mean with the pigs, I will earn about 60,000 US dollars. And then with the chickens, I earn between 1,200 to 2,000 US dollars a year. With the cattle, I earn about 1,000 to 1,500. Matoke every month, I get about 300 US dollars. That's the beauty about using technology, that you look at your, your, your problem, if my problem is land, how best can I utilize this piece of land? And for us, uh, we believe, it's not how much land you have, but how you utilize whatever piece of land is. If farming is the backbone of Africa, or of Uganda, and then people start farming, at a, ten, at a late age, then there's something wrong. So that's when I decided to start up a school. It's a primary school based on agriculture. And the things you learn best are things you learn when you're young. So MST school is uh, a unique school. We get the theory out of class and make it practical. So now I go to class, the quantum. From class, they go to the laboratory for experiments. And from the laboratory, they go to the farm to implement what they study. They go to the bank if they've already sold their product.